Hello everybody. Today I would like to present to you a grasshopper definition that can be used to create Mobius objects. You are free to download it by clicking on the link that is shown below this video. You are also free to make modifications to it to suit your intended design purpose. Okay, let's look at some of the settings within this definition that we can use to craft our design. The first area that you want to look at is the rail curve setting region. Here is where you associate a rhino curve to be used as the main overall shape of the design. Okay, let me show you how to do it. So basically, you go to the input rail curve section, do a right mouse click, go to set one curve, and associate one rhino curve to it as the main form. Okay, as you can see, I've associated it, and this is the overall shape that has been formed. Okay, the resolution section is where you can modify the resolution of the design. So as you can see, if your resolution is very low, you get a more simple design. As it increases it, it gets more and more refined. Okay. By modifying the locations of the control points of the Rhino curve, you are also able to change the overall shape of the design. Okay. Okay, now let's head over to the other section, the cross section profile area. Here is where you set the shape of the cross section profile okay this is a cross section profile okay so by playing with this value you are able to modify the shape of the cross section profiles which are basically uh, polygons okay so these are number of sides uh, slider is used to determine the number of sides to the polygons okay okay here is where you set the radius of the cross section Now let's head over to the rotation setting area. Here is where you determine the number of twists that will eventually form the shape. Okay, so you go to the value list and set the number of twists. Okay, here is uh, how it looks like with four twists to the design. Okay, and you can increase the number of twists. Bear in mind that the values are created using factors of 4 so if you are making modifications to this component you might have to uh, use increments of 4 to add more values okay okay finally when you are done with the shape editing you can bake it to convert it into a rhino object. To do that, go to the final shape region, right mouse click over the loft component, okay, and select bake, okay. Basically, for those who are new to Grasshopper, the bake will convert the Grasshopper object into its corresponding rhino one so if you click ok it will convert this shape into rhino surfaces okay with that i'm done with the explaining of the 
settings within this definition. So what are the potential areas that this definition might be useful for? Okay, I can envisage this definition being useful for areas such as jewelry design, fashion and apparel, hardware design as well. However, I do not rule out its potential for usage in other areas as well. That's all for this video demo. If you would like to use this definition, you can click on the link below this video to download it. See you around. Bye.